in chapter two, we discussed the challenges for global banks with their KYC compliance. And now we're going to investigate what it means for smaller banks. So, but what are the biggest challenges for smaller banks with their KYC compliance? Well, I think for sure smaller banks, they do not have uh, a similar compliance governance in place like what you would see at, at some of the bigger financial institutions. I think if I can make one analogy to that, uh, what we've done as well, if we developed a sanction screening service. Uh, and what we basically have seen is that there has been a great take up by smaller institutions who basically do not have the infrastructure, nor the resources, nor the processes in place to make sure that they comply and that, that they do all the right things. Uh, so this is definitely one challenge that we that we try to address for those smaller institutions. I think what's also clear is that those smaller correspondents they are more on the on the demanding side in the sense that they want to establish correspondent banking relationship to rely on on specific products and services and benefit from the global reach. And in that sense, they basically need to fulfill all of the, the regulatory requirements and the KYC requirements which are being imposed by the, the financial institutions. So do these issues, are they the same for small banks wherever they are in the world? Would you say that they're the same whether a bank is in a small bank is in the UK or a small bank is in Indonesia, is the, are those issues the same? Well, I I would say that if if you talk about the compliance governance, if you talk about the inefficiencies having to to exchange and share information multiple times, I think that would apply uh, across all of the all of the smaller banks. Let's say I think there's also if you would be looking at financial institutions with presence in the emerging markets, I think there's there's also this notion of risk which comes more into into play, uh, and so where the banks are also expecting more and better transparency to really understand who is the correspondent and what is the risk uh, that they're taking for onboarding and establishing this correspondent banking relationship. And so there, of course, from those institutions, there is this risk of financial exclusion from the, from the financial system. How do you say, can you sort of expand on that? What do you mean by financial exclusion that these banks can't like be connected to international banking network? Yeah, well, what it means is that if you, if you look at the, at the bigger financial institutions these days, they really try to find ways to, to manage costs, but also manage risk. And, and what we've seen uh, as well is that instead of trying to manage risk, some financial institutions are also seriously considering to terminate correspondent banking relationships. Mm -hmm. And so in return for that, it might very well be that they will be uh, shrinking or reducing their business with smaller correspondents. So in return for, let's say, the, the financial financial inclusions, they're expecting those smaller banks to provide more input in terms of key controllers, sensitive type of information, etc. Okay, can you give us a sense of um, how things are changing then for these smaller banks in emerging markets? So what was the situation in the past and how, how do you expect it to change in the next few years? Well, what what we have tried to do with, with the SWIFT KYC registry is that if today you, you look at KYC as a bilateral exchange of information, basically what we want to uh, ensure is that with the SWIFT registry we provide one central place where a bank is providing and, and uploading its, its KYC specific information and from there it is basically accessible through all of the financial institutions that need to get access to this information. And what we've also tried to do is that in terms of transparency we've made sure that the baseline, so the standard that we've defined for correspondent banking, caters for sufficient sensitive information so that the bank can fully rely on it even when performing a more high risk due diligence assessment. So do you think there's more need for a service like the KYC registry? Is there more need for that with small banks in emerging markets? Are you seeing more demand from emerging markets or say the big global banks? Well, it, it applies to both. I, I think on the one hand side, if you talk about the smaller banks, whether emerging markets or not, they are really uh, struggling with having to contribute their information multiple times depending on the corresponding banking relationships that they establish. And for the bigger banks, this is also an easier way to consume information in the format that they are expecting, in the timeliness, at the quality that they are also expecting. And as we will also be looking more deeply into the Know Your Customers customers, we also have the ability to, to bring more transparency to the community.